I just got back from the gym and I am famished, but I still need to continue on my healthy goals and not just gorge on everything. So in today's video, we are gonna be cooking salmon. We are gonna be cooking salmon from frozen to fresh in the air fryer. So let's go spice things up. All right, so what I have here is a bag of frozen salmon that I got from Costco since it was on sale last month. And inside the bag, is individually packaged salmon fillets. And so we are gonna take about three and put them in our air fryer. Okay, so I'm gonna open the air fryer up. And if you can see, there's the pan inside. So I will wanna spray the pan with cooking spray. This is canola oil. You can use vegetable or olive, whatever you want. And you'll just wanna spray the pan just so nothing sticks. And so I just take the salmon and I just cut the package, open it up, and put it right in the pan. And here's the last one. I'm able to fit three in here comfortably where there'll be still a nice even airflow around the salmon. So now we're gonna close this up and we are going to turn it on to uh, 360. And we are gonna only want it in there for five minutes. And then press start. All right, time to open it up. So what we wanted to do right here is we kind of basically wanted to thaw them a little bit so that the spices would stick to the salmon a little better. All right, so now it is time to add the seasonings. Okay, so what I have right here are some orange slices. Actually, to be technical, they're mandarin oranges because they're the smaller ones. If you don't have mandarin oranges, you can use regular oranges and just slice them, but you might have to cut them in half. And I just have some in pieces that I cut as well, and you'll just wanna take these um, in pieces and just squeeze them all over the salmon, just so the juice is evenly dispersed. So once I squeeze the in pieces on, we can add our seasonings. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my garlic herb spice. This spice is so good. It's my husband's favorite on the salmon. He's like, don't change a thing. Um, these, I can give you a 15% off coupon code if you wanna find it in the link below, in the description box. Um, these spices are some of my favorite they're nice and organic and definitely delicious. And now I'm going to add some dried oregano and just sprinkle them. Bring the pan out a little bit so I can fit it all over. And now I'm just gonna crush up some salt and pepper. And now I'm gonna take my sliced oranges and just put a couple on the top of each of them. And now I'm just gonna add some butter. Just slice some butter up, just a little bit, and then put it right in the middle on all of them. And I like to put a few more on the sides, just like that. Okay, so now we're gonna close it back up. Turn it on, but we're gonna turn it up. We're gonna turn it up to 385, and we're gonna cook it for seven minutes. All right. Start. All right, time to open it up. All right, so at this point, I like to add a little more salt and pepper just to the top. And then put it back in. Turn it on, and we are going to turn it up to 390, and we wanna cook it for five minutes just so it gets a little crisp on the outside and juicy on the inside. And then press start. Time to open it up. Oh, perfect. All right, that looks great. So time to take a fork and test it out. Yep. It is nice and cooked. How juicy it still is. The lighting can focus. It is nice and juicy. And perfectly cooked. 
Now, if you guys are trying to be healthy as well, comment down below with your goals and we can all help support each other. Well, thank you guys so much. Bye and see you in the next video.